Dateline, Pennsylvania, where one city has entered the 21st century 50 years ahead of schedule. Welcome to Punchbowl, a city built for the space age. Here in Punchbowl, experimental science and state-of-the-art technology create a futuristic paradise the likes of which have never been seen. This is a city unlike any other, free of crime, pollution, poverty, and other urban blights. Menial labor is a thing of the past, thanks to all the robots who keep Punchbowl running like clockwork. People can't stop talking about it, and why should they? Punchbowl is a model of good old American ingenuity, much of it developed by famed scientist Dr. Herman Y, now a naturalized American citizen working for the good guys. But who's funding this fantastic foray into futurism? Why, none other than billionaire playboy industrialist Andrew Monday. America's favorite rags to riches story is the visionary who's calling the shots in this town. At the grand opening ceremony this morning, the world's richest man had this to say. Here in Punchbowl, for the first time in human history, life is what it was meant to be, free of all unpleasantness. Why, someday the entire world will be like Punchbowl, but for now, it stands alone, a beacon of purity and human potential in a world of social upheaval and moral turpitude. Bold words from a bold man. But perhaps the only thing more unlikely than this orphan's rise to fame and fortune is the city he's built, where everyone is invited to drink their fill of the future, and no one has a care in the world. Ah, my goodness! Get your hands off my weenie! Good morning. Is everything okay? He stole my hot dog! Well, that wasn't very nice. Stealing isn't allowed in Punch Bowl. You'll have to give it back. Oh. If you'd like something to eat, I can show you one of Punchbowl's many fine dining establishments. Yeah, go eat something else, jerk. Go on, get out of here. He stole my hot dog. <coughs> oh, my goodness! Oh, my. Looks like he's having some kind of brain seizure. We'd better find some way of relieving the pressure in his head. Why, me? <coughs> oh. My... I think wow, I'm gonna... you sure calm him down. He's not even twitching anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, silly me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm a guide bot, here to provide any information you might need during your stay in our fair city. Would you like the full truth? You can tell by the look on your face. You're gonna love Punch Bowl. Follow me. We've got so much to see. I've got a whole data tape filled with 640 kilobytes of fun facts about punch bowls. It'll take us a few hours to get through the whole thing. Why don't we just walk around a bit so you can get your bearings? You get around pretty well for someone with a gaping hole in his stomach. Good morning, officers. Be quiet, Guidebot. All right, buddy. You're coming with us. But, officer, we just started the tour. The tour's over. We don't want a sick bum in an ugly tie, walking around on opening day, stinking up the place. Nor do we actually want to touch that guy. Ugh. Exactly. So we're just going to stand here nice and quiet, and you are going to get in the back of the squad car, and we'll all be happy. Well, I won't be happy. We're waiting. Tap, tap, tap. I guess you don't have any choice. Uh huh. I don't see anyone in the back of the- My partner! Freeze! Don't move! You're surrounded! What is it? Oh, I see. You got gas. I'll just head over here for a minute while you, uh, relieve the pressure. This can't be happening. All right, buddy, you're going downtown. Hey, down. hands where I can see him. Everyone, ah! light a match. Stop hitting me! Why me? Get out of my brain! Woo! Have you thought about changing your diet? You really should.
Need to make a quick getaway? The Punchball Monorail is the best way to get around the city. Hey, come back here! Get over here! This is the Chief! What the hell is going on out there? You would not believe the calls we're getting at the station! Help me! Help me! Something's trying to eat my brain! Sounds like a sick dog or something. You boys better lock things down pronto! Mr. Monday wants everything perfect today! Masters, out! Anyone else out of bullets? Yep. The monorail is arriving. Please keep clear of the track. Welcome to the Fertile Crescent Bio, where the grass is always greener. Today at the world's most advanced greenhouse, meet me, Maggie Monday. Some folks go for cannibal. Is everything satisfactory, Miss Monday? Yes, Sonny. Uh, sure you don't need anything? Uh, a cold drink? No. A cigarette? No. Foot massage? Oh, I'm... What? No, nothing. No, never mind. You're a nice man, Mr. Skegness, but don't you have better things to do than make passes at your employer's mother? I'm just doing my job, Miss Monday. Andrew asked me to look after you, and I'm going to make sure uh, nothing unseemly happens on this uh, wonderful... Uh, Sunny. Fabulous. Sunny. Huge. Eyes up here. Day. Better come with me, Miss Monday. This doesn't look like a safe place for you. Perhaps we can go back to my place. Nice try, Mr. Skegness! Why, hello there! It's me, Guidebot! Remember me, from the plaza? Are you sure that hole in your side doesn't bother you? Because it bothers me, I can see all those internal organs slurping around in there! all day. The dead walk! Oh, mighty voices in my head, I'll never doubt you again! The commies have infiltrated this country so completely that even the dead have turned against us! Well, the Quaker State Irregulars ain't gone without a fight! Good morning, officers. Good morning, Pumper. Yell her up? Yeah, but make it snappy. We're in the middle of a zombie holocaust. Okie dokie, one tank of extra lighted coming right up. I'm not sure I have enough cash to cover Oh, the... never you mind, sir. It's on the house. Oh, there's no need for that. Oh, it's my pleasure, officers. My pleasure. Want me to look under the hood? No! I need to use the restroom. Oh, it's uh, around the back. Yeah, go ahead. I'll try to keep from eloping with the car. Boy, you know, it's a good thing you stopped by, officer. There's been a bit of lawlessness this afternoon. Tell me about it. Strangest thing. This gentleman, a very ill one by the look of it. Wait a minute. Green skin, festering wound in his guts, ugly tie. I'm never gonna get used to seeing that. Huh. Ain't that a kick in the head? No! <laughs> what 
What's that? Whoa. Okay, everyone turn to the right. Uh, oh, oh, no. No. This is a team. We have a cold red situation. There is a zombie in the police station. Repeat, zombie in the police station. I'd like to encourage you all to shoot first and ask no questions whatsoever. Repeat. Got one over here. <laughs> Listen up, you brain-eating cretin! Your little cannibal joyride is over! My men are cleaning the rest of the zombie filth off the streets! And as for you, I'm gonna fix your wagon personally! Dr. Y is on his way over right now, but I'll be dancing on your grave long before he arrives! I wonder if there'll be anything left for him to dissect! We can't let those thugs destroy such a fascinating and potentially useful specimen. Not to worry, old chap. We'll do it ourselves. Where's the bone saw? I thought you had it. You came directly to my office. It's much more convenient if I kill you here. You're about to learn you can't escape the law arm of the law. I told you I would dance in your grave, and I meant it. Or... Oh, Fred, I think we're moving a little fast. Relax, baby. Ted would have wanted it this way. I watched him die. Yeah, like three hours ago. Don't live in the past, Judy. It's time to move on. Hmm. Oh, Ted. Fred, Fred, <laughs> Fred. Oh. 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 Ah! Quite an astonishing turn of events. You must feel like you're losing your head. Join us. Take up arms and fight with the Quaker State Irregulars. We licked Hitler and we can lick the hordes of undead reds. Now, who's with me? So his wife says, that's not a pig, that's a duck. And the farmer says, I wasn't talking to you. I don't get it. That's because you're dumb, Jeff. What was that? Wanton strumpet has everything you need. I'll be in the truck. You finish him all. I got a blade in my hand. <laughs> That numbskull's been in there too dang long. 
Well, he can hoof it back to the farm. Come on now, old Otis is in a hurry. I know you won't fail me, old trusty Iron Steed. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> shall provideth. Well, the Lord done provideth me with enough of trinitra told you, Ian, to blast you all the way back to Moscow. Don't even try to run. You ain't getting away from me. No one gets away from Otis Monday. Not even... You! Hey there, fella. Uh, Long time, eh? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Remember what you are supposed to do. Yes, drop the antibacterial solution in the main treatment basin and activate the agitators to ensure that the water supply is untainted. Don't screw it up. If you're so concerned, why don't you do Try it? Try not to think about that.
Hell, now what does a bloody blue screen mean? Does anyone know? Uh, Bugger off, I'm working. Look, if I don't get this bloody antibacterial solution in the bloody treatment basin, some zombie could just walk up here, have a wee, and then we're all done for as soon as tea time rolls around. Attention all damn personnel. We have worries. The power coil is overloading. Make sure none of those things step inside the breaker boxes. If they overload the breakers, the entire dam could... Well, try not to think about it. This is nothing. The only way this could turn out bad is if they start walking between the breaker terminals and completing the circuit, and that's just insane. Oh, no. This is Chuck Chumley of the Punchbowl Action News, a breaking story from the Punchbowl Dam where the zombie who's been terrorizing the city is apparently cornered. Our roving reporter Jimmy Nesbitt is on the scene now and reporting live by telephone. Jimmy. Oh God, help me! I don't want to die! Help! We uh, appear to be experiencing some interference. I'm sure Jimmy will be uh, back soon uh, with his full report. This just in, Punchbowl Action News, your source for the news as it happens, has received a report of a 200-foot column of putrescent water approaching the... What the fuck? News still coming to you live from City Hall, where the lovely and glamorous Maggie Mundy is here to share her thoughts about this shocking chain of events. I think it might be best if we all left town for a while until the authorities get things. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Monday here. Uh, no, no, don't stand up. It's been a trying day. I want you all to know that I'm as shocked by these strange and terrible events as anyone, uh, especially the flash flood, which has cost me millions in property damage. Property damage? Andrew, how can you worry about that when people are dying? Uh, anyway, folks, it sure has been rough. I, I, I won't deny it. But Punchbowl will rise above these minor calamities. I invite everyone to calm down. Just take a deep breath and enjoy the rest of your day in Punchbowl. Everything is going to be fine. It's absolutely imperative that you keep them out of the laboratory. This is the heart and soul of Punch Ball. All my stuff is in here. Our orders are to secure the area using any and all means necessary, including, but not limited to, the wholesale destruction of said area. Uh, yes, uh, about that. Uh, there's one of these things, it's wearing a really ugly tie. 
Uh, he could be quite useful as a specimen. You know, to prevent this sort of thing in the future. I have my orders, sir. I'm not going to risk the lives of my men so you can play grab ass with the enemy. You want a sample? You can have whatever's left. Imbecile. Lock and load, boys! Catastrophic power grid failure detected. Electrical power may be intermittent while we switch to failsafe power cells. Have a nice day. You! No one is safe as long as you are here. The army will blow the whole place to pieces just to get at you. I will make you a deal. If you can make it to my private lab without destroying everything, I would be willing to... Now that I have captured the Alpha Zombie, I'm on the verge of the greatest scientific breakthrough in human history. I have been studying your tissue samples. Your reanimation is the result of a catalytic reaction with a grass fertilizer I developed for punch ball. I can see this is wasted on you. No matter. Soon you will be on the slab providing raw material for my greatest experiment. Look at her. A perfect citizen for the perfect city. Smart, healthy, loyal. And now, thanks to your zombie DNA, practically immortal. Obviously, there are still a few bugs to work out, which is why we need to start dissecting you immediately. Ooh, jolly good, let's go. Oh! I hope you like the taste of formaldehyde, because you're going to be swimming in it! Hey, what's a pup-bot gotta do to get a little action around here? Sweet cheeks, back that thing up. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Come on, come on back here. Don't go away. Don't, don't leave. Don't walk away, man. Come on, I, I'm talking to you. Back. Come on over here. For crying out loud, you little tease. I kind of love you, and I think you're kind of get. Hey, where are you going? There's only one thing I love more than flowers and candy, and that's a man who brings me flowers and candy. Pick up some roses and truffles for that special someone today. I've got it all worked out, dead man. Once I kill you, Maggie's heart will be mine. Oh, broads love it when you kill for them. Let's end this. Mono a mono, just you and me. And me. And me. And me. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Well, look who's come crawling back, Mr. I don't need a guide bot. I'm just going to run around eating brains so guide bot gets stuck answering phones. I was just chatting about you at the central computer for the U.S. military. Apparently there's an airstrike on the way, but I'm sure that wouldn't interest you. I'm heading out now. Beat the rush, you know. Would you be a dear and tell Mr. Monday he's got five minutes before the whole town goes up in smoke? Thank you so much.
my whole city, and I won't let him do the same to you. Don't do this, Andrew. Get out of the way, Mother. I love that zombie. Excuse me? It was a hot summer night in 1933. I was just a girl. Yes? He was quite a man. I couldn't resist his charms. Everything was real sweet until Father got home. He dragged my little Eddie out, and that was the last I saw of him. Until now, Father never told me what happened to him. But nine months later, I had a little something to remember him by. Are you telling me my daddy was a traveling salesman who eats brains? Oh, Andrew, try not to be such a pill. my city. You killed my family. And now I suppose you want to kill me. Well, go ahead. Go ahead and try, Dad! <laughs> 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 